All right, it is an overcast day in Los Angeles. I'm using a uh, phone scope uh, to look at the reticle in the blazer 1 to 7 by 28. First, without the reticle illumination, we're on one power now, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Nice front focal plane, number 4 reticle, small floating dot, the church in the picture, it's about 700 yards. In case anybody is wondering, uh, the scope is mount uh, the rifle scope is mounted in a tripod. There are no guns pointing at anyone. All right, now I'm gonna go and turn on the illumination. We're on seven power. You see a small dot. All right, and as I go down in magnifications, the dot gets big. There we go. That's a better way of seeing this. All right, as I go and point right there. Right, so it becomes bigger as I go up in magnification. It becomes small and fine and precise. The transition is about four, four and a half power, approximately. Right, so I'm gonna go back all the way to one, and this dot, in actual years, seriously bright, very fast, about as close as I've seen anything be uh, to a red dot with a low power variable scope. As I go up in magnification, above about four, the dot disappears. Small center dot remains. Now we're on seven. Again, uh, if you want to make illumination lower, you can go very low. So I'm covering this thing with my hand now. Okay, and it can go very bright. Okay. It's about as bright as it gets on 7 power, but then go to low magnification and gets bigger and really easy to see. Really like this arrangement. Very, very nice idea. Very well done by Blazer. I hope this technology propagates to other scopes as well.